Become a channel member and support the content. You also get access to exclusive videos. You'll get an emote next to your name in the comments. The link for that can be found next to the subscribe button or in the description. And if you'd rather get your coins direct rather than roll the dice with FIFA points, head to u7buy.com and at checkout, use the code TVM for a discount. The link can be found down below. What is going on guys, Tim here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And it is, of course, the mid 90 Dalgleish. Why do I say of course? Well, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen The Road to Glory, I packed this guy not from a icon pack, but from a small rare gold players pack. So half a 50k pack, tradable as well, as you can see. And I am a Liverpool fan, so it is fitting. I did say on The Road to Glory yesterday that uh, he would probably be one of four that I would have hand-picked to be in that pack. If someone said, you're going to get a mid-icon, who do you want it to be? It would have either been Dalglish, Eusebio, uh, Pele, and I think maybe Fernando Torres, because obviously, again, the Liverpool thing. But Dalglish being one of the four. Happy days. Let's get into whether this card is any good or not. Of course, there is a quote-unquote better version, 92 rated. He is currently trading at around... 700k more than this one. This one's around 1.4, 1.5. And the um, the Prime is around that sort of 2.2, 2 million-ish mark. He has slightly... Well, it's not even slightly less pace. The, the base version, which is an 87, which is trading around a million coins right now, maybe a slightly more, has one better acceleration, but one worse off in sprint speed. So a lot of people will say, oh, I prefer to get the, the base card. But the speed is... It's negligible, right? Because it's one up, one down. So it's basically the same thing. He's got a five-star weak foot, four-star skills, high medium work rates in favor of attacking, which is really good. 91 finishing, which is annoyingly exactly the same as what it is on the base card. However, you have five extra positioning, two extra shot power, four long shots, two volleys and penalties. The passing as well, big boost over the base card. Six extra short passing brings it up to 85, which incidentally is exactly the same as the prime. And then, of course, you get 80 vision, 5 less than the... Actually, no, 5 more than the Prime. It, it, it's weird, isn't it, how EA work things out? The Prime version of this card is actually worse in composure, uh, long passing, crossing, vision, and a few of the defensive stats, in, interceptions mainly, and aggression. And then it's only like one or two points better in other places. It doesn't really make an awful lot of sense to me. Uh, the team we've got him in, it's... Essentially a Liverpool past and present. I've got Fernando Torres and everyone else is actually a current Liverpool player. Would have put Andy Robertson a left back, but I didn't specifically want to go buy anyone for the team. These are just players that I have in the club. So I thought I'd just throw that together. I've not really used much of Mane this year. The base card anyway. I've used the inform. Is it the inform? Yeah, the, the, the inform, the 91. Used him for maybe six or seven games when I did a little review of him, and he was very, very good, but I've not used the base card. I'll tell you what, he is very good. What a card that is. Maybe do a little video on him. Is it worth picking him up or not? Then it's pretty obvious what my uh, my answer is going to be. For me to win there to get a header, I think I've worked out corners now, which is nice, but um, Dalglish in this game was phenomenal. And to be fair, Dalglish in every game so far for me has been fantastic. I mean, it shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone, but the free kicks... All the free kicks are spicy. As you can see, he's moved his goalkeeper. We've popped it in the corner. He doesn't have his defender directly under the ball, and it goes in the back of the net. I love free kicks in this game, but with someone like Kenny Dalglish, who's got 88 free kick accuracy, give him a catalyst, and all of a sudden you've got 98 free kick accuracy, you're going to score lots of free kicks. Now, why would I give him a catalyst? Is that the best chem style to go with? Not really, but I'm really not sure whether to keep him or not. Like I said, he's valued at about 1.5 million, so the temptation to sell him and get the coins, especially for someone who, you know, does a lot of player reviews, does a lot of um, videos that really needs me to sort of spend coins and, and buy players and sell players and such. So having a, a big coin balance is um, is always is always welcome. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going to keep him yet. That's why I didn't give him like a hunter, for example. But um, it would be much easier and quicker for me to tell you what I don't like about the card than it would be for me to tell you what I do like about the card. So. What I don't like is the stamina. It's only 81. If we have a look, or rather if I have a look, at the the Prime, the Prime has 86 stamina, which is, I mean, that's that's a, an all right level. Uh, again, I would prefer it to be higher, but 86 is fine. 81 
leaves it so that and of course the base has 84 which is that slightly better again so he is the worst version with the worst stamina because i think it's the oldest version of dalgleish right technically speaking but either way 81 stamina if you play him as a cam in particular you're going to have problems uh, because he just can't keep going for the entire game so you are going to need to take him off now most people these days will have killer super subs you know you'll have your dibalas or uh, Luis Suarez from the objective or wh whoever it may be you'll have very good super subs no doubt so it's not a massive deal because you'll have players you can bring on instead of him but the annoying thing about this is if you go out and spend like 1.2 1.5 million coins on this player do you really want to be like having to take him off before the end of the game because he can't play the whole game surely the whole point of you look at that for ball control I mean the defending is questionable but it's a great goal and that is just testament to how good his dribbling and, and ball control is but uh, coming back to that stamina you would maybe expect or hope that uh, a player that's expensive as this would be able to finish the full 90 so it is a bit of a shame that they don't just boost up the stamina on icons and special cards in general just so that we can have our enjoyment out of them his finishing is nothing short of fantastic doesn't really miss that many chances, if any at all. Great composure on him as well at 91. So you can ball roll goalkeepers and all the rest of it. Really is a fun card to use. Very, very good. Of course, I've marked him down for the stamina. His strength is not fantastic. His aggression is still, even though it's higher than the others, lower in some cases. Uh, shot power could essentially be higher. He could be quicker. You know, there are some things about the card that I would definitely improve. For a 90 rated, on paper at least, he's only really coming in at around 88, 89 rated. So to give him a chem style, for example, a hunter, which is probably the best chem style and the one that the majority of people would give him, it only turns him into a 91 rated striker. If you want to try and make him a little bit higher, you could probably take it to like a 92, 93 with a dead eye or a finisher. But to spend that amount of money on this card and only get a 92, 93 when you can go and spend that money on Dybala for example like 200k on Dybala and have a card that is I mean that is mind-numbingly a good card that is that is such a good card do I prefer Dalglish to Dybala hmm interesting one maybe I think they're probably about level to be honest I don't have a special attachment to Dybala and that's probably why Dalglish might edge it for me but um if you are thinking oh do I go and splurge the coins on an icon I mean, I think icons are just overinflated anyway, and it is because they are who they are, you know. Uh, but in terms of enjoyment, honestly, he barely misses a shot. He still feels very, very quick, and especially if you put like a hunter or a catalyst on him, very good on the ball, very good in front of goal. His passing is solid. His free kicks are really nice. Brilliant weak foot. It is a very, very good card. If you pack it, you are laughing. If you don't pack it, you're a Liverpool fan, you've got the coins, I would not be against buying it. That is for damn sure. Let me know what you think of him or any other variant of Kenny Dalglish in the comments section down below. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.